Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I have missed you. It has been three and a half weeks or so since I've done a video. I absolutely hate when that happens. Um, I try, try really hard to do a video at least every other week. Um, but with the holidays and Etsy, I have been so incredibly busy. In addition, this week I had to take Bear to the vet not once, but twice. So it has been a little crazy. So this weekend, it's calmed down just, just a little bit. Um, I still have a lot of stuff that I am doing, but I really, really wanted to make a video. Um, there's some things I wanted to share with you guys, some updates just to kind of let you know what's been going on. Um, and then there's also some stuff for Christmas coming up that I want to remind everybody about. And so we're just going to jump kind of into the video. It's, this is not like a really focused video necessarily on one topic. It's kind of a couple different things. Anyway, so. Etsy's been kind of busy because of the holidays and then Bear this week so I don't know I guess about a week and a half ago he started doing this thing where he would eat and then go right back to sleep he didn't want to play he didn't want to interact with the other ferrets he didn't want to inter interact with me his um so but everything else was normal he was eating he was going to the bathroom like everything else about Bear was 100% normal except his personality I let go for a couple of days thinking like maybe he just doesn't feel good or maybe I don't know maybe he's off and then I couldn't take it anymore and I got really concerned because it was just so out of character for him. So I took him to the vet. The vet thought perhaps maybe he got a cold or something like that. We gave him some antibiotics, two different kinds. We did a bunch of tests. Um, actually we didn't do a lot of tests the first night because he was everything was normal and he wasn't really showing any like outward symptoms of anything being wrong so give him some antibiotics thinking that maybe he's got the coronavirus or something like that ece so, something so i take him home one of the medications that they gave him he must have been super sensitive to because about 12 hours later he couldn't stand up or use his back legs and he was falling completely over well we all know that that freaked me right out so of course we're back at the vet because now bear can't stand and i am just like beside myself get to the vet the vet is like we run blood work we do x-rays you know just a gamut of test again everything comes back completely normal one of the medicines that he was taking can have side effects that um cause neurological issues such as not being able to use your back legs my other ferret has taken this medication without any incident in the past so i don't want to say this is a bad medication some animals are just more sensitive than others which is what i think happened to bear because we stopped that medication and 14 hours later he could walk completely fine so now here we are <laughs> two vet trips later um an x-ray and a whole bunch of other stuff he seems to be perking up so today he got up and he played and he went downstairs and he ran around and he kind of did his normal bear things i don't want to say that he's 100 percent better yet he still doesn't have as much energy as he normally does he's also coming up on five years old so but he is doing better than he was in the last week and a half if his progress continues to go forward then that's great if i don't feel that he's doing any better i may take him for further testing like an ultrasound or something like that just to make sure there's not something going on that we couldn't see on x-rays um but so that's right now what's going on with bear but honestly he is a little bit better than he was which gives me just a little bit of relief a little bit i'll feel better when he's 100 percent better aside from that they've all been great happy normal healthy crazy little beings that they are the other thing that i really want to talk to you guys about because this is what really I am so excited about I love this time of year during Christmas um, I know you guys if you've been watching my channel for a couple of years now know that I am very much in love with the ferret giving tree um, I'm gonna put a link above me now um, so basically the ferret giving tree what that is, is it's a website you can go to it it's a list of ferrets that are in shelters you can select to be a secret Santa or just be a Santa that isn't a secret <laughs> to a ferret in a shelter and then once you select that ferret you are able to donate whether that's food vet um money for vet care bedding whatever it is that you want to give whatever you're able to give there's not a requirement as to what you give the rescue will give a list of things that that ferret needs and then you can select from that list or however you want to do it basically it's donating or helping out a rescue during the holidays not everybody can do that not everybody can do it at christmas i have picked two ferrets off the tree last year i picked three i'm probably going to pick another ferret but i wanted to make sure that i didn't get all crazy and take a whole bunch of ferrets and then you know not leave any for anybody else or just also it's great to want to pick 90 ferrets off the tree and be santa to all of them but if you cannot 
give to all of them, then that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I picked two. The two ferrets that I picked, they are their rescues are saying that they really like cuddle cups and beds and hammocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to donate a couple of cuddle cups and hammocks, whatever accessories I make basically to the rescue um a couple of those will be specifically for the ferret that i'm playing santa to i'm gonna send some extras also because i have lots of extra fleece um and then i'm also gonna probably donate monetarily or provide some sort of food whatever's on the list i'm gonna try to also give additionally some some stuff like that that will actually help the rescue itself um it is really expensive to care for those ferrets most of these places are non-profit they they literally run on donations so whatever donations they receive are always helpful um so that's kind of what i'm going to do in this video i'm also going to be aside from making the cuddle cups i'm going to also be making my ferrets another set of cage liners for christmas i'm going to pick out some cool uh design patterns for the cuddle cups and beds for the rescue ferrets um i just figured you guys would want to come along and kind of see What's going on in my life? I know I am a little bit all over the place. I have had a stressful week. So I, um, I've been planning this video for some time with the giving tree. But the thing is, is that there's all these other things going on in my life and in, in my Etsy shop. And you know, why not share it with you guys? So since it all kind of goes, it all comes full circle back to the ferrets who initiated my whole Etsy shop in the first place. All right, so one of them is going to be a sushi pattern. Um, I actually had part of this already cut out. The other one is a space pattern, and then I'm going to pick a couple other patterns too. I think I'm going to make, I don't know, so I don't know, I'm going to make a couple cuddle cups. I also actually need to make cuddle cups for my Etsy shop. I have some Christmas liners, um, orders of Christmas liners that I want to get out early so that people can actually use them prior to Christmas. <laughs> um, so I want to get those done also. So we're going to be doing a ton of cuddle cups and sewing things right now. I'm just going to let you guys kind of watch me. I probably won't film this whole thing or you'll be bored out of your whole mind. I'll probably focus more on filming the ferrets and show you guys their cage liners once they're done. So right now we're making donations. Okay, so for the donation, I got these cuddle cups. I have to top stitch, that's why there's clips still on these. Um, so these are the four cuddle cups I'm gonna give, and then I gotta put a bunch of hammocks together. These will be completed the next day or two. I have some stuff coming from the pickle ferret that I'm going to put with this stuff. And they all get like pads that go in the bottom of these. So like each cuddle cup will have a matching pad. I just have <laughs> the top stitch. Um, I had a lot of orders to do. So I have to pack all these, take them to the post office. And um, yeah, got a lot done this weekend. Okay, so I've locked the ferrets out of their room. I'm going to clean up a bunch of their mess. As you can see, they have mess everywhere. Um, and then we're gonna decorate for Christmas. Okay, you guys, so I don't sell these on my Etsy shop. Um, this is from a Etsy shop called Feisty, Feisty Ferret. My brain is not working. I'll put a link in the description and, and I'll put it across the screen. The ramp tents, they're super cute. Um, I opted not to make these because the girl that makes these does a great job. There's not a lot of people that sell them on Etsy and I don't want to take any business away from her. So to support her business, I bought them from her for my ferrets and I absolutely love them. So do the ferrets. So there's a hole in the side and they get in it and they love it. I'm going to move my shelf to the other side so I can see them in it. But in order for this to work, you, I have to put the shelf up to the second one. my holes here hold on all right there you go the ramp tint and then we'll put this is the snuggle sack i made them we're just gonna put this here actually i might scoot this over your medicine 
So Bear's up here because he got a treat because he had got his medicine, which he doesn't like. So I give him a treat afterwards, which makes it a little easier on him. Oscar, <whistles> Oski, I know you hear me. Come here, Ask. Good boy. Good boy. Here. I know you don't like the treats. Here, eat these treats. There you go. These treats are from Claus Paul and Raw. And then this is pickle pear juice that comes from Etsy, from the pickle parrot. Okay, so here's their room so far for Christmas. This is in the dark, so I'm gonna turn the light on, show it to you guys too. All right, so here's their room in light. Oh, what's this guy? Oh, this is your little elf? Did you elf? Oh, you love him? <laughs> you want to see, Rubes? Ruby, what you doing? What you doing with that elf, boy? <laughs> Silly baby. Come here, Ruber Doo. You want to go see the elf? What are you doing in that rug? Don't eat him. Don't eat him. He goes on top of your cage. Give me that elf. Look at this elf, Ruber Doo. Look at this doobie, Ruby. <laughs> what are you doing? You got the elf? Oh, got some elf? You cannot hide him. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Where are you going with that guy? He weighs as much as you do. Give him to mama. Give him back to mama. He goes on top of your cage. You want to see him? You want to see him? You want to see him, Lily? What is it, Lily? You love him? <laughs> okay, I'll put him on top of your cage. He sits right here. Okay, so I got my cuddle cups and stuff done for the ferret giving tree. I have a couple of things on the way that I ordered for to go, like I'm making a box. So that's, once that stuff gets here, I'll ship all that out. Um, and then I got my room set up for Christmas for the ferrets. There's a couple other things that I wanna do. I got their stockings. I have a couple things coming from Etsy too for Christmas that I got for them that's decorative. Um, and then I got their cage cover and their second set of liners for Christmas. And then I went in the closet today and they have like three more Christmas sets of liners. Oh my Lord. So I don't know. It's a lot. They have so many liners. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. There is a tutorial um, that's going to come out hopefully like the same day as this video on how to make this bin cage cover, this cover for this bin. Um, it's one of my favorites, all time favorites. So if that video comes out, I will put the link in this video. And if not, I'll add it once the video is released. Thank you guys so much for watching and for sticking in with me while I work on trying to get more consistent making videos. Um, everything's just been so busy, but hopefully after the holidays, I can go back to at least once a week. Um, all right. See you guys next time.